Okay, we have learned the concept of like terms. So let us do a few examples because this is the concept you should be very clear on. Students make a lot of mistakes by unable to recognize the like term and performing some operation which are not allowed. 6x multiplied by 3. In multiplication and division, there is no problem. We can multiply or divide unlike terms. So 6x and 3, they are both unlike terms because it has a base of x while this has no base. It is a constant, 3 is a constant term. So these are unlike terms. But we can multiply them. There is no problem. So 6 multi number will be multiplied by numbers. So 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. And x stays the same. 6x plus 3. Again, the, the same two unlike terms. But now the operation is addition. And for addition, we cannot add two unlike terms. So what it means is, when we say we cannot add, it means we will keep these two terms in the same form as it is. So we are not removing them. We cannot add them, but we will keep those two terms as it is to the next step. If there is a question, we are solving a question and there is a situation in which two unlike terms are being added together. So we will keep those terms at the same stage. We will not simplify them. So this is what it means. So the answer would be 6x plus 3. Keep them same because they are unlike. Now 6x plus 3x. Now look at the base. The base is same. The exponent is 1 because if no exponent it means it is 1. So base and exponent is same. So these two are like terms. So for like terms we only add the coefficient. So 6 plus 3 is 9. So 9 and the base stays the same. So 9x would be the answer. Now 6x minus 6y. So these are clearly unlike terms. Both terms stay the same. So 6x minus 6y. Now 2xy multiplied by 2. In multiplication, no problem. So 2 xy multiplied by 2. So only integers multiply when there is no base. So there is nothing beside this 2. So only this integer will be multiplied by this term, this whole term, only the integer because it has no variable term. So 2x multiplied, 2xy multiplied by 2 is 4xy. Now 2xy multiplied by 2x. Now we have one variable in the second term. These two are still unlike terms. But because we are doing multiplication, so no problem. So integer multiplied by integer. So 4 x multiplied by x. When there is x in both terms, we have to multiply both x together. So x multiplied by x is x square or x raised to the power 2. If x is multiplied 2 times, the exponent of x will be 2. If x is multiplied 3 times, the exponent of x will be 3 and so on. So 4 x square and we put y beside this. Now the next 2xy multiplied by 2y. Unlike terms again only one letter here. There are two letters here so they are unlike terms. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. x there is no x on the second term so we keep only one x from the first. There is one y in the second term and one y in the first term. When multiplied together so y will be multiplied by y. So y raised to the power 2. Now 2xy plus 3yx. So are there like terms? You can pause the video and think. Yes, these two are like terms. Because the order does not matter. And we will soon see this when we will study the number properties. And because it's an addition operation. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So 5xy is a correct answer and also 5yx is also a correct answer because the order of these two does not matter. So the last example 2x multiplied by 2y. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 and x multiplied by y is xy because they cannot 
their exponent cannot be added because they are two different bases so they will stay like this x y multiplied stay the same we will do some more examples so here are some more examples here we have 8 x y divided by 2 x so again these are unlike terms because x and x y these are two different bases because in multiplication and division we can handle unlike terms we can simplify them so 8 divided by 2 is 4 x will be divided by x so x divided by x is 1 4 will be multiplied by 1 we don't have to write but I am just writing to explain and then y will stay the same so the answer would be 4y the second example xyz divided by xy it would be easier for you to write this in a fractional form so you can write like xyz divided by xy and now you can easily see that this x will be cancelled out with this x and both y will be cancelled out because y divided by y is 1 x divided by x is 1 so we don't have to write 1 1 here because 1 multiplied by 1 is again 1 the answer would be simply z another example a little bit complex so 15 x cube y square z I wanted to show that if something looks like very complex or difficult it's not if you know the basic rules you will not feel any problem at all because it is mathematics you don't have to memorize many things here you just follow the rules you should know the rule you should understand the rule and when you are following rules no problem how complex it looks like don't have to worry about so 15x cube y square z divided by 3xyz so again it will be easier for you to write in a fractional form 5x cube y square z when you are dividing it is always convenient to write in a fractional form 3x y and z now this Now this 5 you can cancel out with 3 5 times x well cancelled out with x cube you are left with x square x cube divided by x can be written as x multiplied by x multiplied by x divided by x and when you cancel out this x with any of these you will be left with x square Similarly, this y cancelled out with this y square, you will be left with y only and z will be cancelled out. So the answer would be 5 x square y. This would be the answer. Now the next example is 20 x y minus 10 y x now this is a minus operation so in addition or in subtraction we have to check for the like terms first so whether these x y is like term to y x yes because order of the letters doesn't matter if letters and their exponents are same So they are like terms, order doesn't matter. So therefore these can be simplified. So 20 minus 10 is 10 and xy. You can write xy or you can write yx. Both are correct because both are same. Another example 2x square minus 3x. This is a subtraction operation unlike terms cannot be simplified stays the same so this is the answer 
no simple further simplification is possible take another example 2y square minus 2y cube and i have seen students they, they just look at 2y 2y that's it no the exponent is different so unlike terms stay the same no further simplification possible i'll take one more example only another source of error for students 5ab minus ba so ba and ab are same just like yx and xy here so they were same so ba and ab i have already explained now what about this ba it has a coefficient implied coefficient it's not visible if it's not visible it's 1 So five minus one is four. You can write A B or B A. Doesn't matter. So this would be the answer. So I hope this makes sense. Now here are the two points, two important points which we learned from these examples. So the first point is that for addition or subtraction, only like terms can be added or subtracted, and unlike terms are carried on as it is. They stay the same. and we do not remove them when we say they cannot be added it means they stay the same so if there is 5x and plus 5 we cannot add them further we cannot simplify them further so these two terms will stay the same so this is the thing that only we check for like terms when we are adding or subtracting the second important point was that for multiplication and division we can multiply any term whether it's like or unlike but the only thing we should be taking care of that because this multiplication will be affecting the exponent of the bases x or y or variables so we will be treating those letters separately so if 2xy as we have already done that is multiplied by 2yz so we will be treating this y and y separately x and z all these three separately so let us will be multiplied as 4 then because there is no x there in the second term so x will stay like this and y there are two y so y multiplied by y is y square and z stays the same so when we are talking about this exponents we will treat all letters separately these two are unlike terms we are multiplying them so this is the second point and the same thing happens when dividing so for multiplication or division there is no problem of multiplying or dividing unlike terms but we have to handle all letters or the variables separately so this concludes our discussion on the operation of like and unlike terms and you will see some problems in the quiz and you can do that